Good afternoon, traders, and welcome back once again to the Hot Stocks Outlook for June 30th, 2017. Hope you're all having an excellent week out there in the markets, and boy, do we have a ton of exciting opportunities to take a look at, uh, releasing a lot of volatility and choppiness in the overall markets, and that's resulted in some stocks doing extremely well and other stocks doing very, very poorly. So uh, definitely watch some previous videos in the playlist that are available uh, to see how we're utilizing the software week to week. But in this video, I really wanna go ahead and take a look at a couple of really sectors where we're seeing a lot of the attention in the market. So uh, here we got healthcare and biopharmaceuticals, and then we also have energy, uh, Anadarko, Northern Oil and Gas. We'll go ahead and take a look at everything there today. Uh, but let's go ahead and start here with Spectrum Pharmaceutical and very uh, simply explain everything on the chart here and how we utilize these indicators and really dig in with more of these subsequent examples. So uh, here in Spectrum Pharmaceutical, we have all the price data by these uh, daily bars and candles. And you'll see that we have a black line there and a blue line. Now, the black line on the chart that is Vantage Point's proprietary predicted moving average. So uh, Vantage Point is able to look at other related markets. So they could be, you know, uh, pharmaceutical ETFs, other pharmaceutical companies, the dollar index, the S&P 500. It's able to look at other related markets and anticipate how that's going to affect and influence the markets you're trading. And all of that very important data is built into these predictive indicators. So whenever we have a situation where this blue line crosses above the black, line, it's telling us that we have a prediction, that the prediction of where our, our moving average is expected to go is higher than it actually currently is, represented by that black line. And that really tells us we're in an overall uptrend or downtrend in the market. Now, uh, additionally, we have this indicator at the very bottom, this one or zero. And this is another extremely accurate indicator, again, looking at those inner market relationships to determine you know, whether the market's gonna go higher or lower. But this is looking out 48 hours or two trading days. How I like to think of this is two uh, candlesticks on our chart. So this is only short-term strength or weakness. We're on the top half, we have our overall trend, and we wanna keep these things uh, really in line for our overall trading approach. So when we get that crossover to the upside, neural index up at a one, we wanna start taking opportunities to the upside. So in this example, we see you know very, very simply, market's up 29% since that blue line crossed above the black line. But let's go ahead and look at more of these opportunities using the same approach and, and logic that we really always do week in and week out and understand how this technology can help us when we're getting involved with those trades. When we say, hey, it's time to buy some healthcare. Well, how do we wanna manage those opportunities? What price levels do we wanna accept? Well, a very similar situation here, right? Where we have our blue line very cleanly crossing above the black line there. So that predicted moving average saying the trend is up. Uh, also, when that occurred, you see that blue uh, or predicted uh, neural index had moved up to a one saying strength over the next couple of days. Now, this is really important. So if a trader, you understand that, okay, well, the, the trend is up. I want to get long this market. I'm looking to go ahead and start buying really from this point moving forward. Well, what we can go ahead and is actually utilize a predicted high and low range uh, that's generated via the software as well. So every evening you have a prediction for what the range is for tomorrow. So if you know the overall trend direction, whether over the short term there's strength or weakness in the market and what intraday price levels you should look to accept, you really have all of your analysis uh, uh, planned out. You really know exactly what your game plan should be for your trading style here. So if we go up, I'm gonna actually bring up those predicted high and low levels to see, okay, well, how would we have managed this opportunity from when we recognized the uptrend was in place? Well, you see how this works is, you're not gonna hit these levels every day. You know, they're really an overall guide of where you should expect the market to trade, but you can uh, expect the market to tr move towards those predicted low levels. That would be a great opportunity to buy the market in an uptrend. And you see, you hit that predicted low end, the market's trending higher. We know that blue line remains above the black line for the duration of this move, right? So as this market moves forward, you see a, a really a profit target there in today, profit target there, trying to buy at these predicted lows and target the predicted highs. But even if you get into the trend late, meaning you know one of those orders doesn't get picked up or you're looking for a good place to buy the market, 
you're constantly gonna have these levels updated so that you can get the best level possible and really know what to expect moving forward in the market. So really nice opportunity there. There's a, 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 a trade, a market trading at $1.80, now up at $293 per share, but you could have bought some here at a, a 210, 215, uh, 245, 250, and now the market's still trending higher uh, with that overall uptrend. So, you know, with that in mind, understanding all the tools that we have available of the, you know, a trend, predicted moving average, the neural index, and that predicted high and low, you know, how do we want to manage these trades in these markets and, and really make the most of these opportunities when we get involved? Uh, here in Acadia Healthcare Company, very similar opportunity here. But again, very clearly the blue line over the black line. So you've gotten your cross to the upside, neural index up at a one. And now we want to use those levels moving forward through time to let us know what should we expect in this market. And so we see just how good these forecasts are for these intraday levels. And you can buy some there buy some there, buy some there, you're still in the uptrend. You wanna be buying in an uptrend and obviously shorter term traders can target those profit targets, those predicted high levels as the market continues to trend higher. So regardless of you know your overall approach or your style, you really have all the tools in place. If you're a trend trader, you know if that blue line's above the black line, hold that overall position. Uh, if you wanna trade shorter term, Bring up those predicted high and low levels. Understand where you want to buy on dips, where you want to shoot for those short-term profit targets toward those predicted highs. But you see, you know, intraday as a tool as as levels to be, you know, really alerted to beforehand, the day before the, the market trades, you really can put in those limit orders, be really waiting for the market to come to you, really anticipate the move rather than chase it down and, and really, you know, trying to chase or trail something. Um, let's go ahead and move forward. So those are a lot of the moves to the upside. We're seeing a, a ton of uh, uh, really uh, uh, excitement in, in a lot of these healthcare and biopharm companies, uh, but not that same story where everywhere you look. So some stocks are getting absolutely hammered and it's a really great tool to be able to be long in your portfolio and also have some short positions on sectors or individual stocks that are performing poorly. So, you know, taking the same logic, you know, whether it's to the upside in your buying stocks or whether you're shorting stocks or buying puts, the software works exactly the same way. So here in Anadarko, you know, we'd gotten this crossover the downside saying the trend is down. You see our neural index while that crossover came through that was down as well saying, look towards those levels those predicted high and low levels, use your shorter term neural index to anticipate that short term strength or weakness. But again, we can take a look at this and see, okay, well, you're wanting to short near these predicted highs, shorting near these predicted highs, and a really nice move as this market continues to trade lower. So far, uh, we'll see how big this overall move has become, but so far, really nice move to the downside here in Anadarko. And, you know, uh, definitely go back and I, I'd encourage everyone to watch the previous videos where we've covered a lot of these petroleum companies and, and energy stocks. And when Vantage Point forecasts the market's going to start trending down, you really want to be prepared, go in there and, and great spots again to go ahead and hedge your portfolio, have those short positions in combination with the longs and markets down about 15 percent. Uh, with again, those four or five really great entries uh, as you're riding that market lower. So about a 15% move, $7 per share on Anadarko there. Definitely don't want to be in the way of uh, something like that. Uh, Northern Oil and Gas here, exact same thing. So uh, crossover all the way back at the uh, mid-April uh, really saying, you do not want to be long this market. Keep taking those short positions, whether you're a short-term trader, intraday, whether you buy options, Everything has been telling you, go ahead and short this market along with a lot of those other energy companies. And you see here that this stock is down 45% since that forecast came through and said, go ahead, start to go ahead and short the market. Now, you know, what I want to demonstrate here is I'm going to go ahead and take this off here. Uh, but just, you know, remember that idea that when you have accurate tools and, and you've got really the forecast to help you out, if you start shorting up here at 250, and we bring up these predicted uh, highs and lows again, you know, you can take these pieces out of the market. So, you know, you're able to take these uh, shorter term pieces out of the market with these good high and low intraday levels, and then use the profits from that trade 
to ride that longer term trend because the last thing you want to be doing is getting out of a market that's trending lower because when you really get that excessive volatility uh you want to make sure that you're on board you know that you can't really day trade a market that's you know going down 10 percent a day you're probably going to hit those profit targets and miss the big part of the move so you see on days like this market down 12 percent uh, market pops up to you know 20 percent here but immediately trades lower trading lower and lower uh, in line with that trend so um as always, you know, I, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, definitely go ahead and leave some questions or comments if anything's unclear about, you know, the tools and this approach. Uh, but it really is about, you know, having that guide to understand where are those probabilities, what's the trend direction, what's the short term outlook, and what level should I be aware of as a trader for when that market opens so you're ready for the market to come to you so you can really make the most of these opportunities. So uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Best of luck. Uh, once again, guys, this has been the Hot Stocks Outlook for June 30th. 2017. Thank you all for watching and bye for now.